Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about bits, numbers, and position in the PLC. Now everything in the PLC boils down to bits within the memory. And the memory can be memory attentive or non-memory attentive. What that basically means is if I turn power off to the PLC, whether the bits are maintained in the last status, which would be memory attentive, or if they go back to zero, which would be non-memory attentive. Typically what you'll find is that this discrete inputs and outputs, analog signals, anything that you're connecting to it is non-memory attentive. And then you have to refer to the manuals of the individual PLC uh, to determine the other status. Now if we look up here, we'll have uh, uh, basically everything boils down to bits in the PLC. And the bits um, are either one or zero. And usually you have an address associated with that that bit um, which determines the spot in which you can pick it up and again for addressing we look at the PLC itself and what we can do is we can have um, direct addressing or indirect addressing which um, will allow us to either look directly at that register for the information or we use what we call a pointer and the pointer will tell us the location in which to look to get that information So up on my screen, I'll look at, uh, first of all, we'll look at the bits themselves. And they are actually, um, we can look at inputs themselves. We have normally open, normally closed, or we can say, when we look at the latter, examine on or examine off if it was normally closed. And the input comes in, the scan of the PLC turns on, and the latter will turn on. So these are discrete inputs. And same with outputs, discrete outputs. We have a output ladder turns an individual bit on and then the corresponding output then turns on. Next we'll have um, numbering systems and numbering systems in the PLC we everything again goes down to a bit or binary numbering. We also have hexadecimal, and hexadecimal is used to represent what the binary value is. So the largest uh, binary value you can have, we go from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1111, or it goes from 0 to F, which represents the full range of that binary value. So we also have decimal, which then is, in the PLC we call it, uh, uh, BCD binary coded decimal so that we can interpret it but you'll understand that uh, we can actually use two digits instead of one like we do with hex so hex is basically used to view the binary value and numbering systems in the PLC are used for things like timers counters um, actually the address itself you'll see that it's contained a number to find the bit that you're actually looking for And the last thing we do with the bits and looking at um, uh, them in the PLC and trying to understand them is position. And this one is uh, sometimes uh, difficult to for some people to uh, take a look at. But if we look at an example, an example would be um, a conveyor, which is their typical. We have an encoder that tracks the movement along the conveyor. And then what we usually do is we use the bits in what we call a shift register or a register, it could be an accumulator, it could be several words together to determine where that information is tracking along. So in our example here, we have sensor A, which detects, or detects the, um, the rejected units along the conveyor belt and makes them lie flat. So here we can see the bit traveling with a large one, and as it gets to the blow off station, it will blow it off and then make it flat. So using these three methods, again, the PLC, we have normal discrete bits, which can be memory attentive or non-memory attentive. We use numbering systems, and the more common ones are the uh, always binary, and hex, VCD, and sometimes there's octal in there. And lastly, position. 
and positioning is tracking these bits. So viewing bits these three different ways will help us in programming the PLC. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. For more information, if you go to our website at www.accautomation.ca.